Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Teaching Online with Kelsey. My name is Kelsey and I created this channel to vlog about my life as a full-time online teacher and to help serve other online teachers and parents as well. So please make sure it is not the last time that you see me by hitting that red subscription button and the bell down below to be notified of new videos every week. And to also give this video a thumbs up, it supports me and this channel. And before we really get started on this video, all right, I have a TPT store. I also have a uh, two Amazon books uh, that are $10 forever. And I also have my free all school guide, which I'm going to talk a little bit more about uh, in this video. So please make sure you check that out in my description box because it does support my channel. And if you keep and if you want to keep seeing my content, then check out my stuff down below. So now let's go ahead and get started. So one thing that I keep seeing requested on my YouTube channel, especially related to all school, is a demo video. I did have a video up for a demo lesson tutorial at one point. However, because there was a copyright issue with the lesson that was given out to like demonstrate to you know, you know, to the, the all school teachers uh, related to the program, um, there was some copyright infringement. And so because all school had picked up that I had done a demo video on there, they had asked me to put it down. And so uh, that is why that video is no longer on YouTube anymore or why you visibly cannot see it is because I had been asked to put it down. And so Many people, many of you had come and asked me, I need a demo video. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what I should teach. I don't know what I should do. Help me, Kelsey. And so <laughs> I want to come to your rescue. I want to help you uh, with this. Uh, it's just going to have to be a little bit different. Uh, so you're going to have to bear with me as I try to go over just some tips and some tricks to try to help you have a successful demo video. Now, first things first, there is still not really a pre, like pre-made demo lesson that, that you can use uh, with all school just because of that copyright infringement of that lesson. Uh, so I don't recommend trying to find that and try to, to use that lesson for your demo. Uh, all school is really looking for teachers that are willing to be uh, kind of creative and willing to write their own lesson. And you're probably looking at me and you're like, well, Kelsey, all school promised that you wouldn't have to write your own lessons and that you could just be a teacher that taught their lessons on the platform. Why do I have to write my own lesson? And you know, that's a good question. And I think all school is still working on trying to work out their own curriculum. So they're really relying on teachers that are willing to write their own lessons at the moment to kind of take off on the platform and to get more people to discover what all school is about and to just help get that ball rolling in, in that respect. So I think that's why they are holding back uh, and especially now, since it really is just teachers that are willing to present their own lessons on the platform right now that are really teaching lessons right now, with the exception of the math um, PCG teachers that are teaching all schools math curriculum on there. Um, there's still a lot of works on on that side of stuff. So, you know, for the time being, you may have to just set aside some time and write your own lesson for all school. So what, you know, in your mind, you're probably thinking, what in the world could I teach on, on, on my demo lesson? What, what could I teach? So if you've seen any of my videos, you know that I have a free all school guide. So I definitely recommend you check that out down below. I have that in the description box. So that should help you get some ideas on what you want to teach in your lesson. So let's say you're passionate about cooking. You know, try to 
make a lesson where you talk about cooking, like baking cookies or decorating a cake, you know, whatever, whatever you, you, you want to do there. So, but I'm sure most of you that are watching this video are probably going to stick more on like the academic side of things. So maybe math, maybe science, maybe knitting, maybe art or music. So think of something that you are really passionate about, something that you really know a lot of information about and use that as your tool to figure out what you want to teach in your lesson. So really the biggest tip I have for you is really truly teach what you're passionate about. Because if you're not really excited about teaching math or if you're not really excited about teaching art, then don't teach it. I sim simply put, you know, really sit down and think, what do I like to talk about with other people? So maybe you like to talk about music. Maybe you do like to talk about different literature or art. You know, use that as a way to pin down what you want your demo lesson to be about. Number two, so in terms of creating your lesson, you don't necessarily have to write down your lesson plan per se. So what that means for your demo, you do not have to show what you are, you know, your act, like what, what you're going to do in your lesson. They're not going to see that. You can write that for yourself so that way you can stay on track with how you want your demo to go. But aside, aside from them seeing like a printed lesson plan, that's not necessary. Okay. So, and many of you are probably uh, watching this and this is probably your first online teaching experience. So you are reaching out to me and asking these questions because maybe you've never taught a class online. So you don't know how that would go for you. So my best advice before you hit that record button and before you <laughs> create your lesson and, and that sort of thing, I would practice in front of a camera first. I would practice teaching in front of a camera. It could be on your phone, it could be on Zoom, on your computer, or if you have an external camera, practice first if you're not familiar with teaching online because one thing that I have learned was not with all school, but with out school, it's a little different uh, when you're teaching in front of a screen and you're having to use your hands, not necessarily TPR, but just to be a little more expressive with yourself and like where your hands go, where your body is placed, where you are oriented in, in the room if you're wanting to present something, you know, and especially if you're going to use Zoom in your lesson and you're wanting, and you're wanting to screen share your lesson for your demo video, you know, show that off. Show off your Zoom skills that you understand how to screen share or that you know how to mute or that you know how to do X, Y, and Z in your demo video. So you're going to have to practice a little bit of that before you try to record your lesson because it's going to be really different when it's just you looking at the screen doing your demo instead of just like casually talking about what you like, you know, at a coffee shop or in your living room. It's just going to be a little different. So, but doesn't mean that you're not going to be able to do it. It just takes a little bit of practice and you have to give yourself grace when you do practice because it is going to be a little weird and it is going to be like, oh my gosh, like I really don't know if I can pick up on it. No, trust me. It just takes time putting your face on the camera. It just takes time to do it and to get used to it. And then in no time, you'll just be used to it. And you're just like, yep, yeah, this is what I do. In terms of what you want to say uh, in your demo. So you still want to introduce yourself using your first and your last name. And you want to share a little bit about your experiences with 
teaching and teaching online and any experience that you feel like would be relevant to being a great all school teacher. And then explain in your video why you feel like you would be a great fit for all school or why you want this opportunity to teach on all school. So you want to be kind of brief on this because the whole premise of the demo video is to see you. They want to see you teach. They don't want to hear this elaborate life story and five minutes of like, how you were able to manage a Starbucks or no, they want to see you teach. They want to see how you would interact with a child on the other side of the computer, which kind of leads me to my next point. When you do your demo video, it's obviously going to be just you and not any other children uh, on the other side. So you do want to give that little simulation of that there are other children, you know, that are in the classroom. So while you are doing your teaching demo, you can have a scenario come up where it could be like, oh, a child interrupts, or maybe a child asks a question, you know, and you can simulate it where, you know, you take the time and you listen and you're like, oh, okay, you know, that's a great question. And then you like, you explain, you know, and you can say, you know, so-and-so had, a, they asked the question, you know, why, why is the sky blue? And, and then you can explain the answer on, you know, whatever that, that question is. So that way, you know how to word it and that you know how to respond to when kids ask these questions, because in online teaching, kids ask a lot of questions and half of them are questions, especially if you're teaching littles like me. They say they have a question, but they're like total statements. So if you want to teach the little ones, be used to that. Be used to just straight up statements and not actual questions. So just, just, just be used to that. <laughs> okay. So in terms of, of teaching the content, you know, you want to try to offer a simulation of how you would teach an online class. So in the beginning, you see all these students come in, you obviously introduce yourself and who you are. All right. You can be like, hello, my name is Miss Kelsey and welcome to my class. You know, something along those lines. And then you want to try to do an introduction to try to get the know to know the kids a little better because the idea is, you know, not to just jump right into the lesson, but to actually try to have a form of relationship with these learners that come in. Even if it is just asking a couple of questions like, how old are you? Or what's your favorite color? You know, just those connecting questions can help those learners feel welcome. And so that's what all school is kind of looking for is that you're willing to interact with these kids and talk to them and and really share an interest in what they like because if you just go straight into the lesson they're just like oh okay I'm not really sure how I feel about this teacher so keep that in mind that you still want to introduce yourself you still want to try to find a way for your learners to feel welcome in terms of the actual content so as I mentioned before, you're gonna be doing a lesson on something that you are really passionate about. So if it is art, you know, you if you wanna talk about an art piece or if you wanna teach someone how to draw, you can do that in that video and how you would teach to those students how to draw or how to do this equation or how to, or how to do this. And so, that's very, very basic in terms of that lesson. And you only wanna do it for just like a few minutes. You don't wanna do a whole 30 minute teaching demo. They're really only looking at like a few minutes just to kind of give some idea of how you would be in an online classroom. So you really wanna to try to get some highlights. 
So it's like, okay, I'm going to show you step by step how to draw a flower. And you show the step by step how to draw a flower. So if, if that's what you're wanting, if that's what you're wanting to do, it should only take about a few minutes. And then once you're done, you can, you can pause. And if you want a brief description of why you taught it that way, why you feel like it would be helpful for the students, why you feel like they would get a lot out of the way that you taught something, then, then that's fine. That could be sort of like your teaching philosophy in the end. But again, that would still just be very, very brief when you do that. As I've mentioned before, they only care about how you teach online, right? Because that, that, this is what all school or out school or any online teaching company is about. You're teaching online. That's, that's all they care about is how you are going to teach online and how you are going to be able to interact with children and how you are teaching the lessons so well that you get these children to come back to your classroom. They want to see that you have that potential to do that for their business and to do that for yourself to grow as an online teacher as well. Because even on all school, similar to out school, you are an independent contractor. So this business relies all on, on you and how you can attract more customers or more learners to come in and take your classes. So just Keep that in mind, even after you submitted your demo and you were successful with it, just keep that in mind. You're put, you're showing off your business to, to show off what you got and to hopefully have more families come in and see what you have to offer. So the biggest takeaways for this video, number one, download my free all school guide. If you're having trouble figuring out what kind of lesson you want to teach. Number two, practice. Practice being in front of the camera and teaching in front of the camera because I guarantee you it is different than teaching in a classroom. All right. And even if you have no teaching experience, you need, you have to put the time into practice. Okay. And if you are practicing and you're like, oh, I don't know if this is good enough. Is this okay? You know, feel free to send me an email if your video. I, I would be happy to review it and give you some constructive feedback on what, what I thought was good or what are some things that you could improve upon, you know. So you could do that as well. I have no issue with that. And then number three is make sure that the majority of your demo video is you teaching. Okay. So in terms of if there is going to be a pre-made curriculum uh, per all school that you could use for your demo video, I don't know if that's going to be a thing or not. Uh, so, you know, that those are the three tips. Like I said, just take, just set some time aside to actually write your lesson plan. But if you just absolutely insist that you do not have time to write a lesson plan out and you need someone to help help you out, okay? Uh, feel free to, to, again, send me an email because I would be willing to kind of help you either brainstorm or, or offer, you know, some assistance. However, if you need full-on assistance, like I need someone to write a lesson plan for me, then, you know, there is going to have to be some compensation for it if you're wanting it from me, like a special, I mean, I don't, I don't have any pre-made lessons. So that's what I'm saying. It's going to have, like, I'm going to have to be compensated if you just insist that you do not have time to write a lesson. So, because... <laughs> I got stuff that I have to do too. I, I teach during the day. I do videos like this. You know, I'm, I'm creating stuff. So I am going to have to be compensated if, if, if that truly is the case for you, which is why I'm encouraging you to try to do your own thing first 
before you reach out to me and ask for further assistance in that respect. So I hope that's helpful for you. If you have any other questions that I did not go over in this video, please leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to answer that for you. I do respond to the majority of the comments that come in on my videos. So I'd be happy to help. All right. And then I will see you in the next video.